No, it doesn't want to come up. I'm not on GPS. Oh, I'm not here. Okay. Let's just go back to phone. Let's just see if I can make sure that I'm on my data connection. And, and the way you do that is, is you can, uh, I'm on actually connected. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's go back to Windows Vista. Let's make sure that I'm here. I'm going to connect to. had this on HTTP the other day, so it should be working. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe I'm not on that. Um, let's click. So just so you get an indication, first let's click on the um, the uh, comms manager. So the, the shift uh, port manager. And you can see it's a very nice touch-oriented environment. Now on this machine, it's a very, very, one thing, one question lots of people are asking is, is it a lightweight to touch or a heavy weight to touch? Well, it's a very light touch. So you can actually use your finger um, to navigate around the screen brightness and the volume. You can also use your finger to turn off and on Bluetooth and turn off and on uh, wireless LAN and the modem itself. So that becomes a very, very uh, positive feature of the touch screen itself. Given that there's a keyboard, given there's a mouse, given there's a left and right click, in this environment, the lightweighted touch of the finger abilities is quite nice. Uh, you still get the ability to interact with the pen. And where is the pen? As I mentioned, it's just a quick release there. You still can, can use the pen quite happily. Um, and we can also ink on this machine. So I'll show you how that works in just a second. So uh, it's just installing my drivers and, and doing a, uh, a uh, I believe, getting me on the internet. So let's just see if I can do that. Okay, device ready to use, cool. There we go. So I'm on. So now I'm just connecting to the internet and let's go back to showing how typing works. So let's go back to uh, www.engadget.com And what we've got is, um, hopefully anyway, sometime soon, Engadget opening up. There we go. Um, hopefully you can see that, can you, or not? Yeah. So what you can see is um, I'm not on Wi-Fi. I haven't even connected my Wi-Fi on this, so the 802.11. I'm using purely HSDPA. So if we click on um, if we click on their search box and type Shift, let's see if we can get a, a selection for Shift. As far as a uh, so no, we don't want to autocomplete, and we'll see what they said and when they said about the Shift. <laughs> And, and we can, you know, at least we all know that uh, gottabemobile.com has the world's first real look at this. Um, uh, and shout out to Engadget for doing such a great job of what they do. We love watching them every single day here. So, uh, so in, uh, on 28th of March, it was in a glass case. <laughs> uh, the cell phone company finally goes UMPC 26th of March. Um, so really there's not a lot of information in the world about the shift, so it's quite an honor to have this in my hands. But uh, if you look at the, the, uh, uh, how it's working using navigation on Hedges DPA, and this machine has, has real merits about it. Um, and the keyboard, as you can see, I was typing using the keyboard, and, and it works considerably well. Now, how does inking work? So let's go back into slate mode. Um, let's grab the tablet input panel, because that just floats on the left and right hand side. And you can see the tablet info panel there. And let's just write, um, bring it down a little bit because I want to, when you're using a lightweighted touch screen, you want to lean on a portion of the hardware so you don't smear a digital link or vector on the glass or, or on the screen. So say, hi, my name is Hugo Ortega. Now, inking wise, it actually does a remarkably good job for a screen that's not optimized for pen. So if you zoom in nice and close, hi, my name is, and that's my handwriting, as bad as it is, and no, I'm not a doctor, <laughs> but it's, a, it's as bad as a doctor's handwriting. And then you see at the bottom, you actually have the, the uh, text conversion. Hi, my name is Hugo Ortega. So perfectly captured using the magic of the pen. Now, 
um, I can now insert that wherever I like if I wanted to. So you can still lean on the lean on the case and write, you just can't lean on the glass because as soon as you do, you create what we call vectoring and you don't get that ability to lean and write, you don't. Now the pen itself, let's look at the pen, the pen itself has a uh, ejector so you can literally make it shorter by ejecting it in and make it longer by ejecting it out. The problem is that it doesn't lock in either so you either eject in eject it out but it really doesn't lock in either so it becomes a bit of a nuisance, it's a gimmick but hey this is a phone manufacturer. <laughs> They're good with gimmicks aren't they? Now screen resolution change, let's do that because that's obviously something that is important to everyone. So if I click on here uh, one, two, three, and you can see it's switched already. And if I click again, one, two, three, it switches very, very fast. Now, check this out. If you look at um, uh, something like Aero running on here, because I know a lot of us want to use um, Aero, uh, let's open up Windows Media Player, let's open up um, uh, Welcome Center, let's open up um, uh, all programs, navigate down here. Let's open up journal. So now we've got four um, screens open and really at this stage most devices would be choking a little bit. But this device, let's go uh, Windows tab and go into error and look at this. There's Engadget, there's Windows journal, uh, what's it telling me? Installed, yep. Uh, allow, cancel or allow. Um, go back into Vista and Gadget, Welcome Center. So I've got Welcome Center, uh, and, and you can see there it's running the mobile Intel 945 um, uh, processor. Uh, we've got Windows Journal Printer being installed. So let's do uh, 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 Drive is now installed. Okay, close. And now let's go back to um, uh, did it, did it, did it, did it. media sent, uh, uh, media player. And again, using our finger, we can navigate to press play and so on. And you can see the speakers are um, extremely usable. Extremely usable. Now let's just add um, uh, media center to all of this. Uh, what am I running? Am I running? Okay, let's go back to Welcome Center. Oh, sorry, this is Mr. Business, so I can't go into Media Center. You can see the speakers are <laughs> they work very, very well. Um, let's press pause. And all of that using multitasking and using. And by the way, if you go back to Internet Explorer, uh, there, I've got three tabs open. So let's get out of. Um, Let's get out of uh, full screen mode. So tools, uh, full screen. I've got three tabs open. So I've got the Uber tablet blog. Uh, where am I? No, so let's go back to up there. I've got the Uber tablet blog. And a lot of you will know of my antics on the Uber tablet blog. Let's press play there. And that's a YouTube video. Let's see how YouTube looks. So let's go to full screen. And let's see how that looks. Um, phone, the phone will stop in a second. Um, and that's downloading over um, HDPA should be. I think I'm in HDPA coverage right now. Uh, although in, in my home it tends to go in and out of HDPA coverage. Now um, while that's loading, because it's obviously got a download, let's have a look at this compared to other machines. So let's look at it compared to the OQO Model 02. And you can see instantly the size difference no comparison in what you get in screen real estate or in usage of keyboard. Um, you get a functional keyboard, you get a thumb based keyboard. You, I literally touch type on here um, very very much. Now I, I can touch type in Pocket PC and I can touch type in Windows Vista Business. I should stop saying Ultimate. Um, I, I'm pretty sure this will ship with Vista Business standard so luckily I corrected myself before I finished the video. Let's look at this compared to the Fujitsu.